Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. I'm telling you. What? Whoa. Welcome to this year's The New Choice. Yeah, we had a great year last year for the first time. Our and first thanks year. to everybody, I mean, for making it a success. It was. We had a lot of fun trying different equipment, different different weapons. You know what was cool is, you know, for the first time, because we've, as you all know, we've been bow hunters, but we were able to reach out and touch some things. Yeah. I and, like dig that. That's and, pretty cool. And again, we also wanted to stress the point of the choices. Basically, we want to make sure that all the hunters can continue to hunt no matter what weapon your choice That's it. is. We got to stand strong, stick together, so we can always go out there and have our son RJ and his grandsons and his kids and his kids and so and on your and so children's on. And, and I mean, continue everybody's. to go out into the woods and hunt. So that's why, that's why we did the choice. Bow hunting is our passion. Yes, it's our it, passion. It, but you know, sometimes you just have to go out there and, and experience and the experience other experience the other things and realize, you know what? It's all a lot of fun. You're still spending is. the time in God's creation, and what more can you ask for? Um, me to shoot bigger animals than you. Well, actually, this year we don't even have a preview show because we've got so much action. We that, do. That, we that, really that was do. a good lead-in, honey. Good yeah. lead-in because we're going to go to Northwest Territories, first show, and Ralph and Travis left me at home. Well, it was a guy's hunt. Talk to the hand because the guys went up north to Northwest Territories with Devin and her adventures, and we waylaid. We just had an incredible hunt. It was our first time with Central Barren Ground Caribou, and I'm telling you what. Devin has one heck of a camp. So I hear the first part we're gonna see is Travis and some little bull or something. Well, we had, so, you know what's cool is you're, it's not like you're hunting a migratory herd where they're here today, they, they're going tomorrow. They're literally, it's like a- re, They stay there. Res, residential herd, you know what I mean? Residential. Residential, resident herd? Resident. She's always They live in her. a household now. Yeah. All right, let's let's so anyways, that show. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's Just go. Just check out Travis because we're, he gets you? close. <laughs> uh, you gotta teach him how to drive. <laughs> What's going on, bud? <laughs> what are you doing? We uh, we paid our our fees, and now we're just uh, waiting for the plane to go to Whitehorse. And I guarantee you, AKA Buckethead is ready. <laughs> Would you like a hot towel? We're really roughing it. Really roughing it. Cheese and cream cheese. Ice cream. Milk. Thank you, Travis. What do you do? You want to go hunting? <laughs> well, believe it or not, we just arrived here with Devin and Hearn Adventures up here in Northwest Territories. We're hunting Central Barren Ground Caribou. And he has got one heck of a good looking camp set up here. This out. No! Stop! Welcome back to the choice. <laughs> now let's check out Travis as he comes up with the most insane, insane, just freaking insane, most crazy excuses about 50 mile an hour winds and everything else. AK Buckethead, what are you thinking? Bulls ain't coming with them. The bulls are staying. I mean, the bulls are standing back there feeding like the cows and calves are all coming this way. Here go. Well, what we have here is, again, we found a big herd of caribou and we're in front of them. Although this time, our problem's gonna be cows and calves are coming. 
but the bulls are 60 yards behind them grazing. So if the cows and calves feed by and the bulls come by without seeing, or the cows come, the cows and calves come by without seeing us, then hopefully the bulls will come by. But and we got a monster on this other shoreline too. because I was midway on his body. Yeah, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Backstab. He pushed it four feet. It did, the ball got pushed four feet, I guarantee it. You think so? <laughs> Travis, you missed that ball by like four feet. I mean, come on, that's almost, almost the height of Ralph. <laughs> The middle bowl. You're gonna watch the video and you're all gonna kiss my. The wind blew four feet. It did blow four feet. You don't know nothing about guns, you're bow hunter. Why? Why are you reloading? Because I missed. Because I got two tags. Thank you, Dan. I got two tags, and after I tag this rock, I go tag another one. You know. What can you say? You win some. I forgot to put a bullet in the gun because I saw it hit the rock. Game is eight. Ralph Eagles. Shoot right in the middle of those caribou. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just do what the boss man says. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Barren ground caribou, baby. Boy, they're tough to hit. <laughs> yeah, you're hitting the ground a lot. A lot? I shot one time. Shot one time. I miss. I'm shooting in 50 mile an hour gusts, 200 yards. 50 mile an hour gusts. <laughs> you know, they say seize the moment. Well, here's proof in the pudding because we, you know, Devin, Steve, Travis, and I were up there and we had all these good bulls coming down and I mean, it's, it's hard to distinguish which one to shoot. Well, Travis took the first lead, the really good bull, and Boy, that boy can load a traditions muzzle loader fast because he took the first bull and then he took the second biggest bull. So he had a really, really good afternoon. If we could just get those rocks.
Woo, baby. <laughs> Two barren ground caribou. I don't even know what to think. It happened so quick. Devin said these caribou will feed down a ridge. They all take the same path when they're migrating. And uh, about eight or nine bulls came down. Ralphie got on the bulls. We shot the first one. He reared up. I think he went to the lake. Not too sure about that in Red River Boost. Did you? No fishing poles. But uh, they didn't They didn't really know where the shot came from. And they just kept, kept coming closer, kept coming closer. And Ralphie's like, reload, reload, get your second bull. And he stepped out at 131. We picked the second best bull of the group. And we smoked him. Huh? Pretty cool. Really cool. Yeah. So it's Congrats, cool. Congrats, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ralph. Welcome back to The Choice. Now, we're gonna go back to my bow kill. Now, let me tell you a few things. First of all, we, you know, all of us who are white-tailed deer hunt, we're expecting a 12 to 18 yard shot. When you start to go on these other adventures, these up in the tundra, up in the flats, up in the mountains, you have to start practicing for further distances. And we sighted in for a lot further distances. We had a great shot. The animal was broadside. I, I, I ranged it with my Nikon, Nikon range finder. Everything was great. I released the arrow and you just watched it go. The hot wind took it and it, it's not a good shot. I'm, we're telling you, we're not gonna make up any excuses. It ended up going from a good opportunity to a bad shot, but that Spitfire did its job and the animal went down and let like 50 yards. So we're not bragging about the shot, but we're showing it to you because it's real. And it happens. He's down. I didn't play the wind. It hit him way back. I ain't making no excuse. I held on him. And you watch, I watched the arrow go further back. But I hit that, I gotta believe I hit the femoral or, you know, into him. He's down right here. I'm not proud of the shot, but the animal did not go far. Oh, brother. Look at, look at those back. Look at his. Huh. Holy cow. I mean, he didn't go far. Look at this. They almost they touch. touch. They, do touch. they do touch. Look at that. This is my first central barren ground caribou. And we're with Devin and her, and I'm going to tell you something. It's our first day. Wow. Our first day out, and we are literally spotting and stalking in nothing. I mean, huh? Yeah, right here. I don't know how you snuck up close enough for these things in this thing, but... Uh, Buddy, if you, you when you see my prepared. knees, you'll see you'll know why. But what oh. a magnificent animal. What an awesome ball. Look at this. Look at that. It touches. They really, literally touch. Have you ever back. seen that? Never seen them come back like that. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. I mean, that's it. I'm not hiding it. It touches right here. Yep. We spotted him, what, about three hours ago? Yeah, and they bedded down. And we remember we said we liked him. Got with him. And like got, thank you, Lord. Years. Welcome back to Choice. Now let's get back to the guys as they left me at home. They went up to Northwest Territories and now we're gonna check it out as Ralph 
gets his first caribou with his traditions. Watch him smoke it. Speaking of smoking it, check it. This is how you're supposed to drive a bad boy buggy. Well, buddy, thanks again. Man. What a tremendous hunt. I mean, everything worked out as usual, but look at this, this wind is kicking up bad. You know, we, we found out a situation, especially yesterday with, with, with the arrows. Yeah. Woo! But, uh. Yeah, it'd be tough to shoot with a bow and arrow today. It was yeah. a good thing to go to the muzzle loader. Yep. And what a way to go. Man, that was awesome. I never see, I mean, there, there had to be 150 caribou right here. Right. They, I mean, they were just bedded everywhere. And we snuck up, kept the wind in our favor, snuck up here well i'll tell you what doing all types of hunting is a blast it, we, we've had a lot of fun this past year we really there without i mean again you know our bow hunting is our passion but we gotta try other things you do and i mean traditions with the muzzle loaders and, and i mean 10 point with the crossbows and i mean there's so many other rifles and shotguns and you know upland bird hunting waterfowl hunting you know this is all hunting no matter what we want to say right. no matter some of the little groups that want to pick apart each other the bottom line here is we are all sportsmen and women and we all need to stick together because if we don't we are going to lose the opportunity of doing what we all love to do and we've said it before we're going to say it again hunting is not a sport it's not even a passion it's a lifestyle and welcome to the best lifestyle in the world now we do have a new thing this year. Yeah, on the, we have a little surprise. We have, because we want to thank you all for watching and we have a little thing going on here that it's going to be kind of the lucky logo. The lucky logo. You got to find the logo sometime, not on this issue, not on this episode. Well, like this, for look the, at For the next 12 episodes, we're Nighttime. going to put one of our sponsors logos somewhere in the Bad background, boy. maybe on the side of the back boy, on the side of the buggy or, yep. or somewhere. But you got to spot the logo and then you're going to, we're going to give you a website at the end of the TV show and you're going to have to go to that website and give us all your information on where you saw that logo. And we're going to pick someone and someone's you going to get a surprise. Win, uh, you will win a present from, from that, that sponsor. sponsor. And it's just a way of saying thanks. thank you. So, so until next week, thanks for making your choice. The choice. See you later. <laughs>